in this session let us try to understand interview question basically like it is very important okay so keep three stars for this okay kind of question is like why we use transformer core like this okay why can't we use why can't we use transformer core like toroidal core coil toroidal core okay so why can't we use toroidal core why can't we use toroidal core or questions can come actually three interview questions are combined here okay why to use this or why already we discussed about butt joints right butt joints we should have interleaving butt joints okay in order to have mechanical strength and in order to reduce component of no load current which will set up the flux okay so that is one interview question like why we have to use the excess second thing is can we find a number of turns of a practical transformer can we find a number of turns of a practical transformer second thing okay and third thing is can we find dot convention okay can we find dots of a physical transformer practical transformer by taking the transformer without testing without testing like network theory like network theory. because in network theory we find dots okay dot convention we find dots by seeing the sense of the binding sense of the binding should be known okay let us see all these three first point here is how windings are formed how windings are formed okay for example if you want to know number of turns basically in our textbooks while giving the problems while giving the problems they will tell primary number of turns are 200 secondary number of turns are 1000 something like that now is it possible to find number of turns of a practical transformer for a practical transformer number of turns cannot be known from a practical transformer dot convention cannot be formed for a practical transformer compulsorily we have to use such a kind of core only we cannot use such a kind of core such a kind of core of course such a kind of core you might have seen in your uh, plus two yeah, plus two like toroidal core in plus two we used to have winding like this maybe secondary winding can be like this secondary winding can be like this but here this is a device it's a science physical science okay so there is no concept of economy here but here economy matters economy matters for example for example if i consider this basically how windings are formed okay so we should not think of okay take uh, one transformer sorry copper coil copper wire so insert the copper wire take it from here again insert the copper wire take it from here again insert the copper wire take it from here it will not happen in practice that way okay rather than that windings are basically preformed okay windings are basically preformed then taped okay then insulated insulated and then placed at required location okay so placed at required location not only in transformer means in all electrical machine the same thing will be followed the same thing will be followed means that means that if i see for example windings basically windings are preformed first okay so windings we are going to keep the windings like this first we'll form the windings we'll form the windings okay so once windings are formed once windings are formed immediately we are going to tape it taping will be done okay so i'm sorry where is this yeah okay immediately taping will be done taping in the sense we are going to tape it okay so this is called taping taping will be done okay so once taping is done once taping is done we are going to insulate it okay so we are going to insulate it so we will place the insulation we will place the insulation here we will place the insulation here and then one lamination by one lamination we are going to insert okay so for example this is one lamination this one lamination we are going to insert here we are going to insert here many laminations will be inserted and those laminations will be stamped okay so here then we are going to keep lamination by lamination we are going to insert lamination by lamination we are going to insert 
in this way windings will be formed because in this way insulation can be done properly okay for example if you think of this as a limb okay if you think of this as a limb okay if it is constructed at starting okay why there is a concept of butt joints okay means in our previous discussion we discussed about butt joints for example it is completely formed it is completely formed under that condition how to keep the winding around this we have to keep the wire here copper wire here and again we have to keep the copper wire again we have to keep the copper wire okay then how to insulate copper wire and this particular limb because this particular thing is going to be a magnetic material which is nothing but electrical conductor electrical conductor and copper wire is electrical conductor in between insulation should be provided and insulation design is going to be very much crucial very much crucial especially in case of transformer because transformer will operate at very high voltages it can operate at 400 kV also because transformer once connected with national grid it has to operate with national grid voltage okay so windings are preformed first and then taped once taping is done once taping is done how to find number of turns okay so once taping is done once taping is done how can you find number of turns in a winding no we cannot find so by physical verification number of turns cannot be found by physical verification number of turns cannot be found by physical verification means what is the sense of the winding means for example in our uh, theory we will discuss like this for example like this so my windings are like this so sense of the winding or direction of the winding is like this but once the windings are taped once taping is done once taping is done how can you find how can you find sense of the winding no we cannot find okay and and for example how we have to use this okay why we are using this only not this because maybe windings are formed okay so for example windings are formed first oh i'm sorry windings are formed first windings are formed first okay then one lamination by these are going to be windings these are going to be windings okay first we will keep lv after that hv and all will come will come trust me in leakage i will discuss and once the windings these windings are done then lamination by lamination we are going to insert okay under that conditions compulsorily compulsorily it should be a straight line it should be a straight line okay otherwise how can you insert lamination by lamination for example for example if you form the windings if you form the windings like this okay so in this case you have to form the windings like this in arcade shape okay you have to form the windings in arcade shape because winding should be preformed and after that we have to push lamination by lamination how difficult it is in order to push arc shaped okay if it is straight line if it is straight line windings will be there for example around me windings are there around me windings are there if i am the core lamination by lamination i can insert if it is a straight line straight line so in our practical transformer compulsorily core type will be like this and shell type also straight line it should be straight line it should be what is shell and core i will discuss later okay so logic here is very simple what are those basically windings are preformed taped and then insulated and then placed onto required location so means number of turns cannot be found for a physical transformer and at the same time sense of the winding or direction of the winding because what is the difference between network theory finding dots dots or dot convention and machine theory finding dots okay because network theory dot convention and machine theory dot convention is same but in network theory sense of the winding will be given because network theory is meant for basics it's a kind of science okay so in network theory sense of the winding will be given by knowing sense of the winding if you find dots if you find dots it's going to be network theory without knowing sense of the winding because for a physical transformer practical transformer sense of the winding is unknown because again the same thing windings are taped okay so without knowing sense of the winding you have to find dots dot convention in case of machines after having the uh, sense of the winding or direction of the winding you have to find dots in network theory okay now in this case anyway we have to use this kind of structure only we cannot use this kind of structure because this has to be pushed at later now why butt joints we have to form <coughs> okay why butt joints we have to form see here if you see for example this is the core okay so let me think of anyway th this is not going to be there right so 
toroidal core actually we call this as toroidal core toroidal core okay this round one okay so toroidal core anyway we are not going to use okay now next thing is next thing is for example co type transformer in co type transformer how lamination by lamination for example if i have a lamination like this okay one more lamination like this then i can push the actually i can place the winding here and i can push the what is it this lamination inside i can keep the winding here then i can push the lamination this side getting my point right and after that on top of that my next lamination if you see but join next lamination if you see my next lamination will come like this okay next lamination will come like this and here my remaining lamination is going to be like this okay such that this black if you see that black lamination can be inserted from top side this black lamination can be inserted from down bottom okay so compulsorily joint formation will happen compulsorily joint formation will happen here joint formation will happen here at one point at another point joint formation will happen here joint formation will happen here and in butt joints i told you that interleaving of joints should happen otherwise what will happen continuous non magnetic material kind of area okay non magnetic material flux path will be there because of that no load current will increase if i interleave if i interleave maybe for the red joint is here but for the black it is continuous for the black joint is here but for the red it is continuous so that's why net equivalent area for non magnetic material flux path can be reduced and one more thing is mechanical strength as i told you means if joints are continuous here only under that condition it will fall off okay if interleaving of butts automatically as i told you like mechanical strength will be more <laughs> mechanical strength will be more and one more interview question is means transformer you cannot find you cannot find number of turns okay and at the same time you don't know sense of the winding because windings are preformed and all now how to find if a means if practical especially this uh, question is asked in uh, multiple times in bar and many interviews okay for a practical transformer how to find which side is hv side which side is lv side okay which side is hv side which side is lv side some people say that means yeah, hv side high voltage side number of turns will be more but for a practical transformer we don't know how many number of turns are there inside and some people say in hv side current will be less in lv side low voltage side current will be more the moment current is going to be more automatically area of cross section of copper will be more that is true actually lv side area of cross section of copper will be more but point here is transformer is inside because upon the transformer i am going to have a big transformer tank okay so this is going to be transformer tank maybe if i add here you will get the clarity you will get a feel actually it's not clarity okay so this is going to be transformer tank now inside the transformer tank how much is area of cross section of the copper how do you know we don't know okay now we should be able to tell without like just by seeing the physical transformer we should be able to tell we should be able to tell which side is lv which side is hv now for example for example for this transformer okay for this transformer just a minute let me uh, remove this joints okay for this uh, let me remove this red also yeah so for this transformer if you think of windings if you think of windings windings will be and transformer core okay so windings will be and transformer core of course sense of the winding is unknown for a practical transformer now transformer tank okay so if you think of transformer tank what is transformer tank this blue line is going to be transformer tank what is the purpose of transformer tank transformer tank inside the transformer some losses will be there we will uh, think of all those losses about all those losses in future but anyway in transformer inside some losses will be there because of those losses because of those losses means heat will be generated that heat inside means my transformer tank should be able to dissipate to outside world that is the purpose of transformer tank okay so means what is the purpose of transformer tank it should be able to dissipate the heat generated inside the transformer to outside world okay means that it means that what is the main primary property which is required for transformer tank it should be thermal conductor 
it should be thermal conductor now all thermal conductors are electrical conductors okay so the main functionality which is required for this is thermal conductor and all thermal conductors are electrical conductors now for example this transformer what they say conductor is there this conductor has to be brought out in order to connect to load or source this transformer connections has to be brought out brought out now i'm sorry now okay now means my transformer conductor copper wire has to be brought out and transformer tank transformer tank what is transformer tank transformer tank is a electrical conductor now transformer tank is electrical conductor this black line is electrical conductor electrical conductor and electrical conductor with different voltage level should be separated by insulation so we have to keep we have to keep insulation here okay so we have to keep insulation here insulation here these insulations are called as bushings bushings okay now on hv side on hv side length of the bushing will be more length of the bushing will be more and on lv side length of the bushing will be less okay so length of the bushing is less lv length of the bushing is more hv okay so how do you for a practical transformer how do you find which side is hv which side is lv depending upon length of the bushings length of the bushings okay with this we we have done four interview questions what are those first thing is why we should have such a kind of structure why don't we use toroidal core we don't use toroidal core because bindings are preformed blah 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 okay and at the same time at the same time means how to find hv side or lv side at the same time can you find the uh, number of turns of a practical transformer no can you know means uh, sense of the winding or direction of the winding of a practical transformer no okay basically our machines means of course we can, we can have a small small transformer also okay kind of which can deliver small small amounts of power small small amounts of power but our intention is our intention is we have to think of big transformers okay we have to think of big transformers are big machines because our purpose of machine analysis is machines are meant to be operated by transforming huge bulk of power huge bulk of power so always we have to feel our transformer is big it is not like for bed lamp also of course in olden days for bed lamp also inside transformer small transformer used to be there okay in order to step down the voltage and in order to give to bed lamp small bed lamp incandescent lamp small small lamp shows used to be there okay our purpose is not to discuss about small small transformers our purpose here is to discuss about big transformers for big transformers winding should be preformed taped insulated and then placed on required location okay then we will continue solving our problems